starting off with the whoops. And I'm back. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's Thursday night, and I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, I'm excited to pour some paint tonight. I um, want to just kind of get started. I don't want this to be too long of a video because I'm just amazed how long it takes for those things to upload. But I got something exciting that I discovered that I'm going to share. But I have a 10 by 10 canvas, and I'm going to be doing uh, a pour. A pour, yeah. I guess that's what I'll call it. Uh, I'm just going to get started with colors, and then I'll tell you about them afterwards. Oh, you know, I forgot to check. To see how much paint I really needed. <laughs> but, anyway, it's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. And I'm excited for the weekend, obviously, because don't have to work. Work will be done. Uh, the Veterans Craft Fair, if you guys saw that video, it went really, really well. Um, it was, it's an annual event we do, and we always have a really good time with it. So. Um, been a little tired, but really kind of excited. So I've been Constantly, I'm constantly looking for, seem to be ready to get rid of <laughs> things out of my room to make room for more painting supplies. It's like, oh, I don't need clothes. I only need like five shirts, five pants, <laughs> because I'm enjoying this so much. But um, I was doing some cleaning during the week. Uh, we had, um, it's called Hope Services that comes by it takes donated clothes and um, shoes, everything. It takes household knickknacks and um, things. Anyway, I was going through my room and uh, I, uh, sorry, I think I going out of sequence I wanted. and I'm not paying attention. Anyway, I was going through my room and I found um, some stuff that I didn't want and, you know, like the rest of us, um, paint pours, we're always looking at things to pour on or pour through and I came across something that uh, I no longer use and, um, because I no longer have the the tool that it belongs to and I'm just so excited I can't wait to pour through it I hope it ends up being a really neat little gadget and uh, anyway I will show you in a minute let me go over some colors real quick Sorry, I'm a little excited. I want it kind of to be a surprise because I'm excited about pouring through it. And, you know, it just doesn't make for quite the same. Um, quite the same setup as you expect. Um, let me just try a little bit more. Um, so, um, my colors are... Uh, Craft Smart, it's a mix of Craft Smart and Folk Art, both are metallic bronzes. I wonder if this is enough paint. Uh, Liquitex Dioxazine Purple, Craft Smart, I'm sorry, Deco Art Green Tea, Liquitex Deep Violet, Artist Loft Turquoise, and I'm also using a little bit of the Deco Art Mink Pearl Metallic, but I'm thinking maybe I should just do a little bit more even though I just mixed it. I don't like it when I should have should have done the 
the math beforehand about how much paint for the canvas. I think it's the one I'm using is you multiply the, so like this is a 10 by 10. 10 by 10 and then divide it by, uh, multiply it by 25. I think it is to get the right ratio. I don't know. We'll just see. It's the good thing about, what do they call it, happy mistakes or something. Ellen Welch, I think, sometimes says that. Um, okay, so the thing that I found is I had already uh, e-wasted, recycled the um, hair dryer. And I found the, the hair diffuser piece that belongs to it. And it doesn't fit my current hair dryer. So um, I look in there and I'm like, Oh my goodness, look at that. I'm going to pour paint through it. <laughs> I had to MacGyver it a little bit, though, because um, I was hoping maybe I could get a flip cup to fit over it, and I just flip it, but eh, didn't quite work that. It's too small, and so I had to cut down a little bit the, the more narrower part so that um, I could get to be able to pour and get to that nice design. And you bet you I sprayed it. In fact, I sprayed my cup as well with the, uh, check this out, because I don't use it in my room. I use the black and silver can of the WD-40 silicone spray. <laughs> so you can see what it looks like. But anyway, I'm excited. Let's see how this goes. I keep checking because it's another little setup, and I think I zoomed in, so I want to make sure you all can see. And let's just try this. This is my cup. That's what it looks like. And I think I'm just supposed to pour fast. So here we go. I just love metallics in paint. Oh, I'm looking like I'm a little... Off center though. Look at that. I have to put all the paint out of that silicone spray. It smells like not very good, but sure helps get the paint out. And then I'm going to carefully. this up and over I'm gonna keep checking I think actually I'm gonna go down a little bit more oh look at that green tea I was wondering if that would do that it's such a bright kind of color I'm just going to move this around the canvas a little bit. I like those air bubbles. Yep. I'll do the other ones a little bit. They're like the biggest air bubbles I've ever seen. Maybe because the openings are so big on the diffuser and I hope I have enough paint Kind of like a big star. But the uh, the 
the, can you see the, the lines are actually squiggly. Isn't that kind of neat? I need to try to take some of this paint off, but I feel like I'm very kind of short of paint, so I need to catch it, pull it back on the canvas, so... A little used a little bit more of that turquoise. I like that turquoise. Okay, I have to do this one again. I wanted a bigger canvas to try it on, but I didn't have one prepped. Been doing craft stuff and didn't have a nice big canvas to work with because that diffuser thing is pretty big. And I didn't put any kind of base, so. Could have probably done another round. Preserve my paint. Excuse me being away from you. Let me move it this way. One more corner. One more corner and we're golden. I'm going to cheat a little bit. But it's a real pretty purple, so <laughs> doesn't hurt it. I think because I swirled it and then added more paint and swirled it again, my color separated a lot more than I thought. So definitely going to have to do another one. Definitely might have to do it tonight, even though it's late already. I'm liking it. Got my full tray out tonight, so I'm not having to be careful. Oh, and I got a new, you can see the red tablecloth background after the event on third Wednesday there. They were just going to throw away their plastic tablecloths. I'm like, no, I will take it. white one I had was been using since September since I started I needed to be retired all right let me check oh you guys can see that move it up just a little bit more I always do that I clean my hands and then I remember just use my sticks my cheat sticks Not that there's a lot of paint to pull from, because it might actually be the 
perfect amount of paint. So, there's plenty there. Try to be a lefty. And I'm gonna torch this guy. I noticed my paper towels were such a loud noise when I would use them in my videos, so I slightly sprayed them with water, and now they're not as dry paper towel sounding. <laughs> Too many other cells, but no. I think I like it. I like that the center is not so defined, kind of like with the bottle bottoms. Maybe because I didn't use like white or black. I think this is so pretty. Touch my face with paint. <laughs> you guys see that? So maybe this is the new gadget. I don't know. I'm going to have to search now to see if anybody's done paint through a hair diffuser. Um, let me try to give you a close up. Probably not. See if I can do it this way. Look how pretty that is. If I can. Oops. Trying to take a picture. I hope I'm still recording. Better just do a close up and then. <laughs> All right, I guess taking it off the thing isn't the best way to do it, but. How pretty. Definitely going to retry this again without stirring it twice. <laughs> Bronze is really pretty down here. And then the center. It's, it's like the lightest detail. Got a lot of purple cells popping up. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Might be the hair diffuser Monica Tiamoni gadget magic. <laughs> anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be sure to show you this uh, dried result on a future video. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please click subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up, like this video, and share it. I am working towards trying to get 100 subscribers. And um, if you know anyone who likes this kind of painting and they haven't subscribed to my channel or you haven't, please subscribe. And I will see you on my next video.